What do you think? I think we're dead meat. Real dead meat. You're dead meat! Go ahead and laugh, you guys. The final, final little pass is a business. A dead meat. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today, we're going to be looking at Baby Oopsie, released in 2021. Baby Oopsie is a film that was directed by William Butler, who also directed Demonic Toys 2. And ironically, we actually just saw William Butler in, as Merler in Ghoulies 2. The first Demonic Toys was partially iconic, but is pretty well known in the Full Moon universe, and is the second most well-known thing from that universe, after Puppet Master. In the first Demonic Toys, there were four main toys that were seen killing people and that we followed. Those being toys like Jack Attack, Grizzly Teddy, Mr. Static, but none of them were as iconic as Baby Oopsie. I view Baby Oopsie as pretty much a female version of Chucky. However, because she's a demon and not a serial killer in a doll's body, she's easily more mentally crazy than Chucky. And she is a pretty smart potty mouth asshole. Cut. Despite how literally crazy she is, and the fact that she cusses a lot, she has the mental capacity of a baby still, because it's not a demon possessing a toy, the toy itself is literally a demon, meaning she can ask for random requests, like this one. I'll show her who's in charge, then if baby does good, can we go out for root beer and pizza? However, the thing she loves doing above all is, you guessed it, killing people. All the kills in this movie are extremely brutal and bloody, and I'm excited to show them to you. The story follows our main character, Sybil. She is a doll collector and has a YouTube channel and is pretty popular on YouTube. However, in, she, in her life, she has a lot of haters, a lot of people that just really absolutely despise of her. Eventually, she gets sent pieces of baby Oopsie, brings her to life, and suddenly things start going downhill. And here's something you might not have actually known. Sybil is played by Libby Higgins. She has a YouTube channel, and around, I think, or maybe seven years ago now, she made a really popular video about raging over an extra McRib at the McDonald's on Dorset. Here, I'll play a clip of it for you. You ain't gonna believe it. She looked me up and down. And she said, well, don't look like you need the extra McRib. Excuse me, bitch! I throw punch that bitch. I knocked her ass down. How many kills will Baby Oopsie rank up during her play date? Let's find out. Get to the kills. The movie opens in a really creepy doll shop, which looks like something you would find on the deep web. We then meet our main protagonist, Sybil. She has a channel called The Doll Whisper and a show called All Dolled Up. And she's pretty popular, as a lot of characters in this movie know her for that. However, as she's filming a new video, suddenly she gets a yell from her stepmom named Mitzi to go open the door. Get the door! I'm in the tub. And what's for lunch? <laughs> Sybil, get your head out of your ass. But Sybil kind of just ignores her and it starts getting a little creepy with the anticipation. And then we cut to a very red title card. At the door is the mailman Earl, and he's pretty obviously in love with Sybil. While Sybil is talking with Earl, this little Girl Scout named Taffy comes up to her door and tries to sell her cookies. However, Sybil keeps on telling her to just go on and get. And despite the fact that Earl is trying to hint at that he likes Sybil, she's not really interested. Back inside, Sybil prepares to make a sandwich for Mitzi and gets some creepy thoughts with the knife she's holding. Also, can nobody tell that the other knives in there are obviously fake? Did nobody else see that? After finishing the sandwiches, she puts them into the dining room and opens up another package while Mitzi walks in and is not too happy to see another one of those packages. More doll stuff. Ugh. Inside the package, Sybil finds a deformed head of baby Oopsie and thinks it's just a regular doll. Yeah, she's a little weird in the head. And Mitzi starts to really piss off Sybil. Just what we need. More clutter. You know, one of these days you're gonna come home and all this shit's gonna be gone. Every last doll right there in the garbage. Suddenly this girl named Christy comes in because she's a roommate with these two. And after Christy leaves, Mitzi starts to talk shit to Sybil once again, but Sybil suddenly gets up and grabs a mallet and crushes her head open with it. However, it turns out to be a fake out. Later that night, Sybil gets to work on fixing Baby Oopsie's head. And eventually she finishes Baby Oopsie and everything's good. Well, except that kind of scar face she has. Christy later comes into her room, and thankfully, Christy is actually a nice character, and tells Sybil that she is amazing and to not to listen to what Mitzi says. The next morning, Sybil wakes up to find Baby Oopsie in a different spot than where she left her last night. Sybil then gets ready and starts heading out to work, and we meet another character, Hickory, who is also in love with her. And then we meet the best character in this movie, Ray Ray. Ray Ray. 
Y'all whisper. Hey, honey. How you doing? Not now, Ray Ray. Earl left this on my porch by mistake. Great wedding show last night. I nearly cried my eyes out. I'm a total mess at weddings. As Sybil's heading to work, she gets stopped by these two teenage boys, Gator and Willis. They stop her, and suddenly she seems to spray them with pepper spray. However, it's another fake out, and they steal her purse. And because of this, it causes Sybil to have to walk to work. At her work, which I guess this is like a call center, she opens up a small little package, which I guess might have been in the package that came with Baby Oopsie, and finds a weird red glowing chip inside of it. Her boss named Karen, you can imagine how this is going, walks up to her and sees all the dolls at her desk, even though no personal items are allowed. And Karen then calls her into her office. In her office, Karen lives up to her name and acts like such a jerk to Sybil because this is like the, I don't know, fifth time she's been late. Even though she tells her that she was robbed, it doesn't matter. And also the whole personal item thing. And Karen tells her that if it happens again, she's going to let her go. However, as Karen goes to take a step from her coffee, suddenly it's revealed to be poisoned. But once again, it's another fake out. And as Sybil is leaving, we get a really sad montage of a bunch of people making fun of her. A bunch of her co-workers laughing at her, Gator and Willis stop her again, Taffy annoys her, and Mitzi laughs at her. And as Sybil is continuing to work on Baby Oopsie, she gets a knock at her door, and it's Ray Ray with a cake. Ray Ray comes inside and watches Sybil finish up Baby Oopsie, and tells a story how his dad never let him play with dolls, but now that he's an adult, he can make his own decisions. Later, Sybil makes another video and shows off the new and improved baby oopsie. It's completely finished and ready. However, when she turns her on, it just glitches out and is deemed a fail. Sybil then cuts the camera and tries to figure out what's wrong with baby oopsie. And then she finds the chip that she opened earlier and she decides to try and attach it inside baby oopsie. And it completely activates her and baby oopsie becomes perfect and talks like a real baby. Hi, Mama! I'm baby oopsie! <laughs> Oopsie then asks Sybil to hold her, and they end up falling asleep together. A little later, when Oopsie wakes up, she finally becomes the baby Oopsie we know and love. <laughs> Cunt! <laughs> the bitch is back! Now that she's asleep! <laughs> Where does this broad keep her weapons? I need a knife! No! Think bigger! A pistol! What are you looking at, bitch? There's a new sheriff in town, sweetie. Conjure this! <laughs> Oopsie then gets all spooky-faced and just runs outside and eventually makes it to that kid Gator's house, where he's playing the Puppet Master game. Cool Easter egg. He gets on the phone with Willis, and Willis reveals that he actually stole Sybil's credit card. Gator tells him he's an idiot, and then he'll get caught. After Gator gets off the phone, he starts watching some... I'm not gonna say it. And Baby Oopsie sneaks into his house, grabs his iPhone charger, and begins to strangle him with it, and also bite him brutally on the cheek for our first kill of the movie. Back at the house, Mitzi is beginning to throw away all of Sybil's dolls, and Baby Oopsie arrives back at home to see this, and makes Mitzi her next target. This bitch has got to go! One more soul for energy! Mean lady has it coming! Sybil then wakes up to find Baby Oopsie gone, and thinks Mitzi did it. Meanwhile, Baby Oopsie grabs the knife from the drawer. Mitzi takes the dolls back into her room and watches subspecies on her TV. Baby Oopsie then sneaks into Mitzi's room, and Mitzi thinks it's Sybil peeping on her, so she locks the door. However, as Mitzi's doing makeup, she puts the mirror down to find Baby Oopsie there, who uses a knife to slice her nose off. Holy shit! Sybil then makes it into the room to find the room a mess with a bloody bed, but no Mitzi. Sybil then sneaks into the bathroom and sees what it looks like Baby Oopsie hiding under a sheet. However, as she's going to take it off, suddenly Mitzi comes flying out of the closet with a hammer and knocks Sybil out. Baby Oopsie then jumps onto Mitzi and finishes the job by drilling directly into Mitzi's skull for her second kill of the movie. A few hours later, Sybil wakes up to find Ray Ray and Christy who help her up. Sybil tries to find where Mitzi is, however, they tell her that they couldn't find her, and Sybil starts to get really confused. Later, Sybil heads downstairs, and we find Mitzi's decapitated head with a clown outfit on. Later, as Sybil is getting ready for work, she finds Mitzi's phone and decides to put it in her purse. And then she hears Baby Oopsie talking and finally sees Baby Oopsie. It's a beautiful sunny morning. Will you give Baby a bubble bath? <gasps> Hello, Mama. Don't look so surprised. It's just the two of us now. Now that I killed your bitch off for you. That 
Sounds right. She's history. <laughs> Sybil tries to convince herself that none of this is real. However, Baby Oopsie just tells her that all of her enemies are history. Sybil disagrees and throws Baby Oopsie in her purse and takes her to work with her to prevent her from killing anyone else. While heading for work, she encounters Hickory, who lets her know about Gator's death last night. When she gets to work, she gets a call from Mitzi, but it's Baby Oopsie using Mitzi's phone inside her purse. However, Sybil simply hangs up the phone. But Oopsie calls again and gives a pretty good argument why she should let her help. Face it, you got a lot of haters who deserve to die, Mommy. The good news is... It's a reasonable exchange. Just think, you living happily ever after, while I devour the souls of the dirt heads that make your life miserable. I don't want you killing nobody. Sure you do. You think about killing people all the time. There are a lot of assholes in this world, Sybil. Sybil hangs up again, and then is once again called into Karen's office. In the office, it turns out Sybil accidentally left some coleslaw on the fridge, too long than you were allowed to there, so she gets fired. And Sybil reaches her breaking point and decides to agree with baby Oopsie. Later at the house, Sybil disposes of Missy's body in the bathtub while Oopsie watches. The next day, Sybil is taking the body outside, and Ray Ray offers to help her. And thankfully, he doesn't discover the body. That night, Sybil and Oopsie set out to kill Karen. Oopsie heads inside and manages to make it into Karen's office, and pees to let her presence known. Karen tries to fight back with Oopsie, but Oopsie suddenly throws up all over and it's revealed to be acidic as Karen starts to badly burn. However, we see her again in the sequel, so Karen doesn't actually die here, so not a kill. However, that's made up the next morning where Oopsie kills someone for real. She kills the other bully named Willis by repeatedly stabbing him in the back as Sybil watches. The next morning, Oopsie sets her new target on Hickory. However, Sybil doesn't want her to kill him because he's been nothing but nice to her, and this leads the two to have a fight with each other, and Sybil manages to temporarily knock out baby Oopsie. Sybil then heads outside and tells Hickory to leave to keep him safe. And back inside, she does some research on her computer where we get another easter egg of seeing Blade when she searches up killer dolls. She then watches one of those conspiracy theory videos which explains the events of the first Demonic Toys movie. Back downstairs, Taffy comes knocking at the door and Oopsie opens the door and invites her in for a game of hide and seek. Once Sybil is finished watching the videos, she knows what she has to do. Sybil goes searching around the house with a bat and finds Taffy's hat on the ground and then Ray Ray and Christy show us up. Sybil tries to send them away to keep them safe, however, Christy says she's going to go take a bath first. And Sybil invites Ray Ray to come help her search. Sybil and Ray Ray go into the basement and open up a closet and Taffy comes running out. Back upstairs, Oopsie runs over to the bath and knocks a toaster and electrocuting Christy for her fourth kill of the movie. Sybil and Ray Ray head upstairs to find Christy's dead body, and Sybil tries to explain to Ray Ray what's going on and tells him to leave before he gets killed, but there's no way Oopsie would try and kill Ray Ray, right? Get the heck out of here! Are you serious right now? What do you fucking think? Get ready to die in the name of Satan! <laughs> Guess I was wrong. Ray Ray runs off, leaving Sybil for a final battle with baby Oopsie. And we see Sybil suit up for the final fight in a badass montage. Later that night, Sybil is still looking for Oopsie and heads down into the basement to try and find her. While Sybil is looking, she finds Oopsie behind some boxes and runs over to attack her, however Oopsie escapes before she can. And when Sybil is lured over to the stairs, baby Oopsie reveals herself hiding behind some costumes and uses a mini chainsaw to saw deep into Sybil's leg, while reciting her catchphrase. <laughs> And as it seems like Oopsie is about to kill Sybil, Sybil uses some spray she had grabbed earlier and manages to spray Oopsie all over the face, which begins to badly burn her. 
Sybil then rips Oopsie open to find the cog that she put in earlier, and she uses a screwdriver to break it out, finally ending baby Oopsie. Sybil then stumbles around outside, and Hickory finds her and tries to help her. And Earl then arrives again with another package. However, Sybil now knows all these packages are evil and knocks it out of his hands. But then Earl reveals something really crazy. Weird thing is, I never understood why he didn't just walk these packages over himself. Walk them over from- Save the postage. What? Well, all the packages I delivered to you are mailed from Ray Ray's house. He's the one sending you all those doll parts. Ray Ray? Sybil then heads over to Ray Ray's house to find him in the middle of a demon ritual. Yep, it turns out this whole time Ray Ray has been behind everything and he is actually possessed by a demon. Suddenly a bunch of toys attack Sybil and the screen goes black. The movie ends with Sybil mind controlled by Ray Ray and now they make doll videos together with a brand new rebuilt baby oopsie. How many kills did baby oopsie rank up during her play date? Let's find out. Get to the next. Say I want to kill this kid who calls himself not dead N meat. No, you, you can't kill him. You can't kill him. Sure I can. N no, you're not allowed to kill him. No. Listen here, bitch. I will kill him. No, I'll see you guys at the numbers. Hold on. You are not allowed to kill <laughs> him. Four people died in Baby Oopsie, the lowest number of any kill count so far, two of which were male and two were female, an equal gender ratio. Golden Chainsaw, her best kill goes to Mitzi. She was an asshole and really deserved what was coming to her, and also the nose chop and the drill to the skull was really brutal and bloody. And Don Machete, her lamest kill goes to Christy. She was the only character in this movie who didn't deserve their death, and also it was a bloodless kill. And that's it. Baby Oopsie came out in 2021, and I really enjoyed it. Next time we're going to be looking at Jeepers Creepers, but until then... I'm Hardcore Fan, see you next time.